you guys. So today I wanted to make this video about getting my life together because last week, two weeks ago, my dog passed away and I was just mourning, not doing anything, which is fine, obviously. And then last week, no, sorry, that was three weeks ago. Then two weeks ago, I was sick. So I was just on the couch, couch bound, doing nothing. And then last week, I was still kind of like sick, kind of getting over my cough and stuff. So I didn't work out. I was just still kind of trying to do my routine, but no working out. And I just feel like I haven't jumped back into my routine yet. And today I just want to kind of get my shit together because I haven't worked out in three weeks. Um, I've been on like a walk but I haven't like worked out, like been to the gym. So I'm really excited to come to the gym. Yesterday was Thanksgiving here in Canada and I ate a lot, which is fine. I love to indulge, but now I just feel like I really want to work out. So I'm really excited. We're getting our life back together. I just have like a few things that I need to do today, errands. And yeah, I'm just gonna bring you guys along my day and hopefully this gives you motivation because a lot of the times, in life, it's very extremely hard to have motivation and actually keep the motivation. Um, I heard this quote and it was like, motivation comes and goes, but it's determination that like pushes you through. Because sometimes I have to like force myself to come to the gym because I'm like, I know it's gonna make me feel good, but my body is like too, I'm, I'm lazy. I'm like, I don't wanna go. But then I'm like, no, I just need to force myself because I know it's gonna make me happy. That's the determination coming through when I don't have motivation, if that may even make sense. But anyways, let's go work out. I'm really excited. Yay. Okay, so I just finished my workout. It wasn't like the best workout, obviously, because I haven't been to the gym in three weeks, but it was just like a start. So I'm just happy that I went. I'm happy that I did the workout. You know those workouts you have when you just don't have the best workout, but it's still like you're happy you did it? That's exactly what, what today was, which is fine because I'm just, like I said, glad that I did it. Yeah, anyways, I just went up with this girl who owns a candle company and she gifted me some candles. So I'm so excited to show you guys them when I'm home. She was so sweet. She reached out to me on Instagram and I'm so excited. I'll have her um, candles website linked down below because she does like vegan non-toxic candles. She's like, girl, those candles at um, home since are like pretty toxic. And it's like, I know that, like I know better. But <laughs> yeah, I've actually, it's funny that she reached out to me because I was looking for like a good candle company, like a vegan, like non-toxic one. And I'm just so happy and so excited to try out her candles and she's local business and I'm so excited now I'm just going to go to London drugs because I want to get my film camera developed I've had this for literally like maybe four months now I don't even remember when I started taking the photos so I'm really excited to see it's kind of like a Christmas surprise when you get the photos back because you're like holy shit I don't remember doing that or that or that or that and that's why I love these things so if you guys have never tried a disposable camera I would 100% recommend doing it but this has just been like an errand that I've been putting off it's getting this developed so we're gonna get that done today and just do it the weather is like low-key hot right now I wore this jacket because it was freezing this morning and the weather's just like weird like up and down um it's supposed to be oh it's only 13 degrees right now what it feels hotter i guess because the sun is like beaming on me right now but anyways let's go do this errand because this is something i've been putting off and then yeah and then i'm gonna do a quick stop at the grocery store So I literally just walked in the door and went pee because I had to go so bad, but I'm so hungry and we are going to make, I'm going to show you guys how to make um, the yogurt bowls. They're so good. I just picked up at the store so I ran out of yogurt, some Greek um, vegan yogurt. So it's made with oat and coconut milk and this one just has more protein. So that's why I picked it because it's like Greek yogurt version. I got some bananas too because the bananas that we had, Joel freeze them. So we had no like ripe bananas out. But okay, let's make it. I'm so excited. Okay, so obviously you can use any yogurt. And so you're just gonna fill the bowl with however much yogurt you want. So now you can take like a fruit of choice. I just like putting banana. You can put raspberries, strawberries, like really whatever you want as your fruit. But I like putting a full banana. Okay, block that in. So now I've just put in 
oats. I don't know, I just really like the taste of them. Like they're just like big rolled oats. And then I put um, cocoa nibs. These are just the ones that I use and they're pretty healthy for you. They're just like kind of chocolate but not sweetened. They're pretty bitter but they're really good in this bowl. So I just kind of sprinkle those over top. And then I just put like a um, spoonful of this natural peanut butter and it's so good. So I just take like a huge spoonful, honestly, like a pretty big amount. So I go ahead and put in like this much peanut butter and I just kind of leave it there. And then when I eat it, I just kind of take bites out of it, if that makes sense. And then last thing I do, this is very optional, but um, I just like kind of drizzle maple syrup over top of it because it just makes it a little bit sweeter and I like it that way. Just because this yogurt that I'm using isn't sweetened, so... Um, Having maple syrup on it just makes it taste a lot better. Yeah, so that's literally it. And it's so good, you guys. I'm obsessed with it. So here's how it turned out. And um, it, this actually has a lot of protein because of the yogurt that I use, the Greek yogurt. It has like 13 grams per serving. And I'm pretty sure I have like two servings in here. So it's really good. It could be really good protein. And it's so easy and so yummy. 100% recommend you guys try this out. But I'm just gonna enjoy this right now and then we'll shower. Okay, I'm gonna hop in the shower now because obviously I just got back from the gym, but that was so good, that, oh, it's so good. I'm gonna shower now and then I am going to burn a cute candle and then we're gonna do some work and I also have a little haul to show you guys, so yay. So little tip, when I'm in the shower, I like to play this um, playlist by Apple Music. It's just called Spa Apple Music Wellbeing. And I just like shuffle the playlist. And I love listening to this when I shower because it makes me feel like I'm in a spa or something. And it honestly is just so calming. So if you guys have Spotify, they probably have something similar to this. But I swear it's the best thing ever because it makes you feel like you're in a spa. And yeah, it's just so calming. <laughs> Just got out of the shower. I honestly don't feel like putting anything extravagant on today. So we're just rocking the sweatshirt and the sweatpants because I feel like being comfy. But we're still going to be productive. But I just I just feel like being comfy. Like I don't really want to put on an outfit today. But So I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been recently doing. That's really been honestly the best thing ever. And what I've been doing is every single morning I have not been looking at my phone. Because I got back into the habit recently looking at my phone in the morning for like 10 to 15 minutes and even though that's not like a lot of time it's still like I'm looking at my phone in the morning for 10 to 15 minutes and it makes me feel so disgusting honestly and so groggy doing that then I started with the five minute journal again doing that first thing but that's like so quick right so what I do now when I wake up is I'll get up I'll go brush my teeth do all that and then right away won't look at my phone I'll come and I'll journal I've never been a big journaler in terms of like writing things down but in the morning I'm like so excited to get up and journal like it's honestly something that I've been looking forward to like I've been doing it for a week and a half straight now and it's the best thing in the world I'm obsessed I don't think I'm ever gonna stop and I just journal about random things whether that's how my previous day was whether it's just like a thought that came into my mind or a dream or whatever but it's honestly just therapeutic doing it for like 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and not looking at my phone and then I go straight into my meditation, straight into my yoga and then after I do like all that then I'll let myself look at my phone and stuff but it's honestly so freeing and it's been the best thing that I've incorporated into my morning routine in a while. Yeah, I'm just so happy and it makes me feel so good. So if you guys are looking to switch up your morning routine or you're kind of like realizing that you just go on your phone in the morning and it doesn't make you feel good, I would suggest doing this because it's honestly been the best thing for me. And now I don't even want to look at my phone in the morning because I'm kind of like almost distracting myself while doing this, but this is just so beneficial. It feels like therapy right in the morning and it's amazing. So just thought I'd tell you guys that. Sorry if you keep hearing this beeping. We have something wrong with our fire alarms in our apartment, so we need to get them changed. But as you can see, we have to like, where's where's the fire alarm up here? We have to unscrew it off of the ceiling. <laughs> so if you keep hearing like a random beep, um, 
sorry about that all right now i'm gonna unbox those candles that i got today i'm so excited um i'm gonna just quickly show you guys then oh she said Michaela, enjoy your vegan slash soy wax candles that is so cute I'm so excited her name is Bryn, by the way oh my god oh my goodness pumpkin chai are you kidding me oh my god that smells so good and look at how cute that is oh my god this is so cute thank you so much Bryn, if you're watching this this one's apple pie oh my god that smells so good this one has a wood wick cinnamon cream chai are you kidding oh my god and look at how cute this is and then brown sugar and fig oh my god that smells so good i'm like i'm like giving this to you guys like you can smell it like smell it um but anyways thank you so much Bryn. um if you guys want to support a small business i'll have her website and everything down below she's the sweetest ever and i'm so excited i'm gonna burn these right now or not burn all of them at once but i'm gonna pick one to burn okay so i wanted to show you guys my most recent purchases as of yesterday <laughs> so me my mom and my sister went shopping because we were originally going for gifts but then i came across the uggs that i have been wanting for so long and they were the last one in my <coughs> size last ones there pretty much and so yeah i ended up getting the minis they are so cute they're not the ultra minis i originally wanted the ultra minis but they're just literally out of stock everywhere and they're not coming back in stock for a few months so i was like you know what these are second best and they're so cute i'm obsessed with them but yeah i'm just so happy because i know that i'm gonna be wearing those like every single day like i'm gonna get my use out of them let me know if you guys have a pair of uggs and which ones you have so i'm just curious um i feel like the ultra minis everybody and their mom has them so i'm curious which ones you guys have if you have a pair but i know that i'm gonna be wearing them all fall and all winter like non-stop um and then i also picked up yesterday you guys saw me wearing it this morning but i got this jacket from Ardeans. It is still like the exact same one that Aritzia sells for like $2.50, but I got this one for like $50, I think it was. I was originally gonna buy the one from Aritzia, and then we walked in Ardeans, and then I saw this one, and I'm like, are you kidding me? It's literally the same thing. Um, the quality is probably not as good as Aritzia, but it is like so cute, and I'm obsessed with it already. Yeah, I love it so much, and this is like a jacket that's super in style right now, um, but it's technically like the Aritzia dupe, so I'll link it down below if I can find it on their website, but I just got it in the store and I got it in a size small for reference. So here's how they look. I'm obsessed with them. They are so freaking cute. I just know that these are so dangerous and they're not going to come off my feet. I think I'm going to go on Amazon though and buy like a protector spray just so that I don't ruin them like my other ones because it does rain a lot here and I know they're not waterproof. So yeah, that's the only thing. But they're so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love them. So I'm currently heading out to a coffee shop with Brittany because I really just want to switch up my work environment today. I was talking in my Patreon and everybody was somehow just like going to a coffee shop today. Like we were talking about it in a group chat. And that also really did inspire me. I was like, oh my god, I really want to go to a cute coffee shop and work now. So that's what we're doing. But of course, I threw on the mini Uggs because why not? I got a pumpkin sweet cream cold foam and it's so good. I got the cream with oat milk instead of like cream cream, but it's so good. And yeah, I'm with Brittany and now we're just gonna work and edit. So I just wanted to quickly say something that was on my mind, do kind of like a moments episode. I was thinking and in life, we tend to like rush a lot of things in general, like even just like from your day to day life when, for example, you want to go get something, but there's like a big lineup and you're like complaining you're like oh i don't want to wait in this line like it's such a long line but it's like what is the rush like i feel like just in our day-to-day -day lives and in also in like the long run we're just trying to rush so many things when it's like if you just sit back be present and enjoy the journey that's when you're going to appreciate everything the most and just be so present yeah like for example me my mom and my sister were at the mall yesterday and we wanted to get a starbucks drink and there was like a huge lineup but we were just like 
what's the rush like why don't we just like enjoy being in this lineup be present and like there's really no rush i was thinking about that in the general sense of life too and i'm like there's no need to rush anything if you're working towards something it's like you want to get there so bad but at the end of the day it's the journey that's what's most fun and if you rush that and you're always just like wanting to get to the end goal then you're going to regret not enjoying your journey and that just like stems from the smallest things like standing in the lineup to working towards a goal or something but yeah so i just like realize how important it is just to really sit back and stop rushing everything um there's no need to do that and i just feel like you can have a greater sense of appreciation and gratitude if you just kind of are present in your everyday life so yeah that's something that i'm trying to work on is just becoming more present um in the grand scheme of things and also in just like my everyday life but i just wanted to say that because i was on my mind and i think that it's like so important um to just really enjoy every single day because i feel like we a lot of the times just take every single day for granted and it's like if we just step back and realize how lucky we are just to be on this earth it's kind of crazy like the chances that we're actually here and getting to live this and experience this journey is crazy and it's sometimes obviously easy to forget that that was just something that was on my mind and i wanted to share okay so i'm now home now i got a lot of work done at starbucks it was so good um feel really productive but i am just now checking the discord group chat in my patreon and i literally love you guys so much i'm so happy i have this like you guys are giving each other advice right now we actually have a challenge going on where we are challenging each other for three days not to go on tiktok because sab in the group chat she was like yeah i didn't go on tiktok for like a month and she took that cleanse just to see how it went and she said that it like literally changed her life and she feels so much better and so i was like you know what why don't we create a challenge where we can do like weekly challenges that would be so much fun so right now we're doing a tiktok challenge and we're kind of reporting back and we're just having the best conversations in this group chat and it's just like so amazing to see how amazing you guys are and the support that we're all gonna have for one another now going forward it just like my heart is so warm right now and i'm also posting an exclusive vlog today on there too going up in half an hour i just scheduled it but talking in this group chat is bringing me so much joy and this community is amazing like everybody has each other's backs and it's just so good so cool getting to know you guys and chat with you and seeing where you're from and everything and what you do i feel like i have so many new friends now yeah i'm just gonna do this for a bit longer and then i'm just gonna clean and then do some laundry and just get shit done that i've been putting off like getting my let's we gotta keep getting our back together here